I've been blessed to travel to London a couple of times, but I don't have any desire to live there. But if I did, I don't think I'd be putting in an offer on a house that was recently for sale. For one thing, it would be far more than I could ever afford with a pr price tag that equates to 1.3 million American dollars. Now it is a five-story house, so it has some height to it. But in those five stories, there's only 1,034 square feet, so it's a bit of a tight squeeze. And that squeeze is even tighter when you realize the entire house, all five stories, is just six feet wide. Now, I'm sure someone will purchase that house and find it to be a very fun place to live, but they won't have to outbid me for it. I do not want my east wall and my west wall to be six feet apart, especially when my wingspan is over six feet. I could touch both sides of my house if that happened, and I for sure don't want that throughout the entire house. I want room to stretch out a bit, to sit with my family and read or play games, or to have people over and talk across the room, not right on top of one another. But when we think about our home in heaven, what do we think about? In John chapter 14, Jesus spoke of heaven as my Father's house. Some translations have Him saying that in that place there are many mansions. Others say many rooms. The phrase literally simply is many dwelling places. You know, we sing songs like, I've got a mansion just over the hilltop, or there's a mansion now empty just waiting for me. Now those songs are not wrong so long as we realize that we're probably not actually going to have some type of earthly mansion looking place in heaven. You see, the emphasis is not on the type of dwelling. Instead, the emphasis should be on the fact that there is plenty of room for all who would be faithful. We shouldn't be concerned with whether we will have a large mansion, a room, or even a six-foot wide dwelling. The fact is, there is plenty of space for all who are faithful. But more than that, we likely won't care too much about the look of our dwelling place because our eyes are going to be fixed firmly upon the glory of God in whose home we will be. And so today and every day, Let's keep our central focus on preparing ourselves for our heavenly home so that we can be in the home of our Heavenly Father.